As you're growing spirulina, you'll eventually find some clusters turn a sort of brown yellowish clear and float to the top. It's completely normal and natural, like wilting leaves on a plant. However, if there's a lot of it, then there may be something wrong. If there's any odor or absurdly large amounts dying off, there might be something more serious going on. If that's the case, it'll likely be your pH, temperature, or light intensity. Check each of those levels and make sure it's in the ideal ranges. pH between 9.5 and 11, temperature between 65 and 95 degrees Fahrenheit, and indirect sunlight for 8 to 16 hours a day. Make sure the spirulina is in darkness as well on the off times. If you're convinced it's none of those factors, it may be a lack of aeration or gas exchange, or it's too low or high in nutrients. When it comes time to remove dead spirulina, I like to do it in the morning. This way it hasn't been stirred after resting all night and everything's floated to the top. I find that a dropper is best to suck up the spirulina, but a small strainer would work as well. A spoon, not so much. Viewing the dead spirulina under the microscope was more exciting than I thought. It looked like this large brown mash where you can see living spirulina suspended in it but the rest of the yellowish cloud was a sort of macerated gravy mush. Finally, after removing the dead spirulina, you should add half the weight of spirulina you took out in nutrients, similar to when you harvest spirulina. So keep the sodium bicarbonate out, but add some more macro and micronutrients. Well, that's it for today's video. That's how you remove dead spirulina from your tank. Again, it's nothing to worry about. It's a natural cycle of growing spirulina, just like growing indoor plants. If you like this video, please like, comment, uh, or subscribe to my channel for my upcoming content. Thank you.